Hey there, and welcome to this episode of Give Me The Mic. So, this is going to be interesting. Today morning, I woke up to breaking news in the AI world where Anthropic dropped their Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Now, Sonnet is their mid-range AI model. So, when I've seen that headline, I thought, not so much big news. They still have Opus 3. But I was so wrong about it. But me making this quick video probably tells you that I was wrong. Okay, let me share the screen and show you what Anthropic just gave us all. Okay, so this is their announcement. Claude 3.5 Sonnet, June 21st, 2024. So, I will not go through the whole thing. You can check it online and read about it. But let's start with this visual. Now, this is simply showing you where it falls when it comes to intelligence against the anthropic models and cost. So basically cost didn't change and it's way cheaper than Claude 3 Opus. But if you look at the intelligence, it is way ahead of any other model they have today. Now reading this and looking at it, they will come with 3.5 for Haku and Opus. So let's carry on. So frontier intelligence at two times the speed. Here they talk about all the benchmarks and then they tell you in an internal agentic coding evaluation, code 3.5 Sonnet solved 64% of problems outperforming Claude 3 Opus, which solved 38%. Our evaluation tests the model's ability to fix a bug or add functionality to an open source code base. Given a natural language description of the desired improvement. When instructed and provided with the relevant tools, Claude 3.5 Sonnet can independently write, edit, and execute code with sophisticated reasoning and troubleshooting capabilities. It handles code translations with ease, making it particularly effective for updating legacy applications and migrating code bases. Now, this is a big thing, especially for no-code people. If you need to have some code in your work, this is the tool that will accompany you. So far, I've been using ChatGPT 4, for Turbo, and now 4.0. And honestly, recently, I don't think ChatGPT 4.0 is doing well. When it comes to code and playing with it, I started noticing that it just gets worse in the same session when you try to troubleshoot and debug even a small piece of code that you work on with ChatGPT 4.0. Again, I'm a no-code person, but I play with small snippets of code that makes my automation super powerful in certain cases. Okay, so let's look at how Claude 3.5 Sonnet actually is benchmarked against the other models. And you can look at all these benchmarks that are well known and the reference for comparing all these models in many cases and it seems as per what they claim it tops nearly every other model now there's two benchmarks where 4.0 is still topping sonnet 3.5 but pretty much it tops everything when it comes to opus 3 and the only two where gpt 4.0 is still ahead is the undergraduate level knowledge and then the math problem solving. Now, I don't know if this means trouble for OpenAI. So ChatGPT 4.0 had a grand presentation by OpenAI and a huge demo that went viral and still it's not shipped out yet. So people don't have access to it. So what does that mean? Is Anthropic simply better at doing things in secret and surprising the market? Or are OpenAI just really bad at shipping out these things? So let's carry on. So it's talking about vision. So it has the ability to look at things and understand image. So that's something interesting. And in a second, we're going to test the model with a couple of quick tests that I'm going to perform to give you an idea. Now, this is an interesting concept they dropped, artifacts. So what they call it is a new way to use Claude. So today we're also introducing artifacts on Claude AI, a new feature that expands how users can interact with Claude. When a user asks Claude to generate content like code snippets, text document, or website designs, these artifacts appear in a dedicated window alongside their conversations. This creates a dynamic workspace 
where they can see, edit, and build upon Claude's creation in real time, seamlessly integrating AI-generated content into their project and workflows. Now, let me show you where I already started using Sonnet 3.5 as part of my automation. So this is an automation that I'll do a video about really soon that 100% automates your social media. So the reason I brought this automation up is that there is one thing ChatGPT4 was never able to figure out, which is the YouTube chapters. So when I transcribe a video that I create, I do not want to go and manually figure out the timestamps and create those chapters. I want AI to do it for me. I tried it with ChatGPT 4.0 never ever got even close to having an accurate and good outcome. With Claude Opus, it did really well. And now I moved this job to Sonnet 3.5. And as you can see here in this step, where you can see this big prompt explaining what is the um, SRT format of transcripts and what I expect out of this session and an example of how chapters look. And it gave me amazingly structured and detailed chapters with their titles. Okay, so let us move to the interesting stuff. So let's go to Claude. So this is the prompt. Create a hooking interactive Python-based web page. I can run instantly on Replit. That would be an addictive hooking, simple but super fun 3D game that piques user curiosity of what is to happen next, but at the same time, users competitive urges to increase traffic to my site. Also, give me how the game is played. So let's see what it does with this prompt. So you can see here it's developing the code for me and it is pretty fast. Okay, so I have the code ready, but I do not see the artifact that they talked about. I don't know if I missing something, something I need to click or maybe I, I need to ask it. Um, but let me now go for the replet, load the code, run it, and let's see what we got from the Sonnet 3.5 model. Okay, so I'm on replet. So I'll just paste the code as it is, then run it. I assume it will start installing the libraries that it's using and it seems it's working. So let's check out the output. There's something here like text. Did it just create, it's a maze runner. So how do I play it? It's not clear. Let me check what it told me at the bottom, how the game is played. The player starts in 3D maze represented in 2D. Use arrow keys to move left, right, up and down. Use W and S to move forward and backward in the 3D space. Collect golden coins, increase your score, navigate through. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's replet or um, something else that's not showing in 3D. Okay, so I asked it, how can I see it in 3D? Because I can only see it in 2D and apparently it made a mistake and now it's giving me the new code to uh, use. So it made a mistake, but to be honest, I gave it just a couple of lines to, to do something really complex. So I'll give it the benefit of the doubt here. Let me copy the new code and run it on Replit. We're back into Replit and let's put the new code and run. Again, it's installing the libraries. Okay, Python game is done. Okay, it seems it's running. Let me go to the... Oh, okay. I don't know how well you can see that, but <laughs> it actually worked. So I can hit the barrier. I can move up. I don't know if you see that. It's interesting. Uh, it's working. It can walk through the maze. It's too sensitive. Um and the keystrokes. I just created a game and I can you can see the small map that shows you where you're at and when you hit the wall you can't go through it so it has some logic in it. It's very hard to you need to get good at it. You need to get good at it. I do not think ChatGPT can do this in a couple of tries. Nearly 100% um, I ensure that this is the case. Now honestly just by seeing this, I, I had a subscription that I canceled in Claude. I'm going to subscribe. I'm not going to cancel again because I need small snippets of code as an encoder to do amazing things in my automation. And clearly, Claude, as of today, is the tool to use. And even here, when I get stuck into the corner, I don't move as if it's estimating the size of the person's object or the person, person views object. So there's some kind of dimension representing me, apparently. And you can see here, it's dynamically following um, the, the my location in the maze. So super interesting, super powerful. I, I think they aced this one. Okay, let's do one more thing. I will ask it to recreate this. This is my Shopify store. Very simple. 
but just for the fun of it, I'm going to see if what it does with it, what it comes out with when I just give it the image because it's covered that it's much better than GPT-40 in images. And this is like the old promise by ChatGPT that you can create something from an image. Let's see if Claude without any words and you know lots of hype actually delivered to most users this capability. So we'll go back to Claude. Let me open a new session just in case. Okay, so I attached that screenshot. Now I'll just give it a simple prompt. Okay, simply I told it, build this exact website for me or a close copy. I don't want to add anything, so it's super simple. I want to see if this is the one that will generate the artifact. Okay, so it took me a couple of prompts. So I told it, give me the exact website um, it refused, it told me I cannot give you something exact, you have to build it yourself, it's just the language I was using. I tried something else, didn't work, and now I just gave it, give me the code for the website and show it to me in the artifact. I still didn't, I couldn't run this artifact thing, honestly. Um, this is an HTML code that I can run somewhere based on this, but at least I have it. So I, let me see what I get when I run this HTML code. Okay, so I put the code in a HTML viewer, and basically nearly everything on that image it recreated, didn't pick up the design. And I think I don't have access. I think the, the artifact feature that I saw some people demoing is something being rolled out. Clearly, I don't have access to that. I think there is no question about Sonnet 3.5. From my experience, it is definitely better than ChatGPT 4.0. So tell me, did you check out Sonnet 3.5 yourself? I think you should do, you should play with it. If you're part of the community of no code, low code, think it is something that you could enjoy using. It will definitely make you more capable in everything that you do on daily basis, regardless personally or in work. So put a comment in the comment section, what you think about it. And do not forget to like, subscribe and share this video if you enjoyed it. And with this, thank you and goodbye.